What's up trainers, welcome back to a new video and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing you Zangoose. Zangoose is a really nice off meta pick I would say um, because of the moveset it has, it has Shadow Claw, it has Night Slash and Close Combat and with that moveset you can just boom a lot of opponents and with the Night Slash you can get a nice boost as well. Um, the team I used is not really a team I would recommend you uh, using because it's uh, triple weak against Medicham. Although maybe because of a lot of YouTubers are showing right now the Shadow Gardevoir with the charm damage. I think this team can still somehow work because in all the sets I did or all the battles I did. Um, I didn't even see one Medicham because I think people are a bit afraid of using it right now because of the fact that there are just a lot of Gardevoirs or Shadow Gardevoirs at that point so uh, without further ado let's hop into this next match or into the first match and uh, let's see we got a, a Sableye on the lead and this is quite nice because the Shadow Claw damage doesn't do any uh, damage to us and we can uh, throw Night Slashes against them they've safe swap into the um, Pelipper which is quite nice because we just have to uh, shield up a hurricane which we did and then we can throw one icicle spear and then farm them all the way down because they won't reach another hurricane in this uh, matchup so as you can see they will only go for a weather ball and from this point we just farm down we leave with a lot of energy now we have to see what they have in the back if they are going to show their third pokemon let's see what do they have in the back and they are kind of coming back in with their Sableye, which is nice. Uh, and it's fine because we, we have so much energy on our uh, wall rain. We can just throw all the ice cold spears we have and apply a lot of pressure on their shields because um, it's going to rip the uh, Sableye apart. Uh, basically, if you have two ice cold spears almost loaded, it's already like, I don't know, 6% of uh, HP. Oh, look at that. It's even more. It's 80. We just aggress aggressively swap back in because we still had some energy stored on our Sangos. And we're gonna go for the nice slash, basically uh, making sure that they either have to commit a, a shield or that they will lose all their energy, and we get the boost. So there's obviously one th only one thing we can do, and that's shield up. And let's see if we can sweep. Um, they have an Atari and a back, so unfortunately, close combat is not gonna be the call in this scenario. But we can just go for a boosted night slashes because it's just gonna apply a lot of damage to the uh, Altaria. And uh, the damage as well is going to add up because look at this two night slashes and it is almost already uh, KO'd, uh, which is perfect, which is uh, so so good, looks so nice. And now let's see, are they going to throw? We get another boost, and are they going to throw? No, they farm us down. They know better, but we have the answers in the back. Their Sableye is basically dead, and their um, uh, and their Altaria as well. So as you can see Zangus almost took out two Pokemon and um, it got the boost and uh, yeah it's just unstoppable basically now we can just uh, lock on farm them down and leave with the move and just go for basically either the Fox best or the Sap Cannon because the Sableye is so low they can go for a last second Sky Attack or maybe they reach the Moonblast doesn't matter um, because it's already a GG my opponent doesn't know that yet but they are gonna know they aggressively swap back in we can just go for a sap can and I'm not even gonna uh, pivot, pivot, gonna use some energy or uh, do do the energy as you can see because it doesn't matter and now we can just lock on that lock on them down all right next match let's see we got a Delcaddy on the lead which is also quite nice quite a spicy pick by my opponent I've got a hundo myself but I'm not uh, bothering or gonna try to power this Pokemon up because uh, it's uh, so expensive if you don't have a hundo if you got a good IV one it's uh, gonna cost you so much starter so no it's not for me but it's a nice pick of my opponent and they are gonna go for a shield because we build up to the night or uh, close combat if I'm not mistaken I'm not too sure basically actually I didn't uh, wasn't uh, paying attention that much but um, they go for a wild charge which is fine we can take that easily and now they are gonna come in with a Maywow which is fine because we will reach an earthquake and now they have to decide if they're gonna either double shield or that they have to give up their last uh, final shield. What will my opponent do? They won't commit the, their final shield. So boom, there, there goes their Mewau. And now let's see, what are they gonna do? Can we reach a last second Ice Cold Spear? Yes, we can. And this is gonna do uh, just some decent damage because the Okiri is actually quite tanky. It surprised me because look at this, it doesn't do that much damage to it. So, all right, now let's see. We still have some uh, energy stored on our Zangos. We have to uh, shield this move up. 
um, because otherwise we are probably gonna get KO because Sengus is uh, not that tanky. It's quite, it's kind of squishy. Um, so we're just gonna build up, build up some more. Go for the uh, close combat just to make sure we get the KO. And now let's see what do they have in the back. They are gonna have a. Gardevoir, we swap and that's gonna be a GG. There's nothing they can do. We will reach two uh, sap cannons before they will charm us down. And uh, yeah, that's basically a good game. Um, hopefully my opponent let this one uh, go because it's just gonna save us some time. And let's see, do they know better? Yes, they do. So that's the GG, good game, very well played. Next up, we've got on the lead versus our Sangus. Let's see. We got a wall rain, so this is kind of like a matchup where having the close combat is gonna come in so handy again uh, because they're just so afraid for it. Every every opponent, they almost every opponent, but every opponent they will shield uh, because if not, they're a maniac. But almost all my opponents, well, all my opponents in this video, they uh, shielded up the move. I got one opponent who didn't, so that's uh, that's quite nice. Um, but let's see, are they gonna shield? Of course they will, it's just they are too afraid to get boomed. But on the CMP tie, they're gonna get boomed anyway because are they gonna commit their second shield? Nope, spoiler alert, they are not boom. And we're gonna swap aggressively into our um, uh, wall rain. So we keep the Zangos because it's still a good counter against the Sableye. And we're just gonna spam out these Iron Skull Spears right now. Uh, I don't really care if they catch it on their third Pokemon because uh, it's in general it's gonna do a lot of damage to basically any Pokemon except for some of the Steel types such as Registeel of course. But um, at this point when there's only one shield up and uh, they still have only two, or they only have two uh, Pokemon left, just, just you can just spam it unless you feel that the scene uh, because of the team um, you've already or the Pokemon you've already seen in the team you feel like there's a Registeel in the back be more patient but as you can see they had a Pelipper in the back so just going for it. it wasn't a bad call because they weren't gonna like to catch it anyways we're gonna send in the Registeel and they know better they're gonna top left all right next game next match what are we gonna see we got a Maywell on the lead, which is quite a nice pick. Shadow one as well. And they're gonna swap immediately into Delcady. So basically the same team already uh, as the first team we saw. But this time the composition of the team is a bit different because they don't have a, um, a Delcady on the lead. They have it as a safe swap, which is uh, surprising. But this kind of me got me thinking that they might have a Shadow Guard of War as well. Because it felt like they were swapping out immediately. They might have a fast move pressure team because they didn't show their fast move in the first place. So I'm not expecting them to have a uh, fairy wind um, fast move, but maybe something else. But we'll see. Um, look at that. They just threw a wild charge and it, it didn't do that much damage to the Delcady. They can just survive and farm down, which is uh, which surprised me really. It's insane. Um, now let's see. We're just gonna go for the uh, Night Slash straight away uh, to uh, knock them out because I don't want to get hit by another Wild Charge or whatsoever because we're just so low. We get farmed down and at this point we will lose the game unfortunately because they are running Fire Spin, their Shadow. They will go for Power Up Punches to ramp up their damage for the Fire Spin, Fast Move Pressure uh, damage that they will do. So yeah, there's nothing we can do. It's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, it sometimes happened. They just outplayed me, which is nice, uh, which is well played by them. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really we can do. I tried to play it out just to see how tanky my uh, Registeel was and maybe if I could have reached it um, quick enough so that I can uh, then afterwards go for the uh, Sap Cannon anyways on the Gardevoir. But as you can see, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen, which is unfortunate. But yeah, as I said before, uh, well played to my opponent. Now, let's see uh, what is going to happen. We we just play this out as I said before, and then uh, we probably, uh, well, we are going to lose because the charm damage is just going to be too oppressive and we are not even close by reaching the sap cannon. So GG to my opponent, well played. Next game, we got a Deoxys on the lead. As I mentioned before, we are triple weak to counter and we got a Shadow Claw on the lead for ourselves. So we can basically 
stay in because it's not too bad of a matchup i would say because of the night slash is gonna do a lot of damage we can basically um night slash once and then i think i can farm all the way down they let it go and we get the boost very nice you love to see it always don't we and now i'm feeling confident that i can easily shield once and then farm all the way down leave with a, a close boosted close combat uh, at death and then uh, threaten whatever is going to come in because it's probably not going to like it um, so let's see they come in with a Latias if I'm not mistaken which is quite spicy as well but these Shadow Claws and Night Slashes are not going to be much appreciated by the La Shadow Latias as well uh, so they we get another boost oh my god did you see the Shadow Claw damage we unfortunately couldn't reach another move and we got the answers right we, I'm just going to go straight for the Icicle Spear again um, not, I don't have to pay it obviously, but I'm just gonna go for it. They have to shield or let it go. And now let's see what they have in the back. I feel like another God of War because, yeah. If your opponent is like running double charm or they swap in with another charmer, there's like a 99.9% that they will have a Shadow God of War in the back. It's just uh, something they want to lure out your Registeel and yeah, just ma make sure you think of that. As you can see, we got a nice 4-1 uh, set with Sangos. I'm not really recommending uh, recommend you using this team, but I'm also like, you could use this team because as you could see in these set of battles, I didn't even see one Medicham in any team. Only one uh, Shadow um, or only one uh, defense from Deoxys with counter. And besides that, there wasn't really any big counter or what counter user in uh, these sets. So let me guys know how your home, to, home, home tour uh, battles are going. And um, yeah, I'm going to check you guys out in the next video. Peace.